Hello and welcome back. Today's video is kind of a continuation of my last upload. So if you haven't seen that video, I'll put the link in the description. So in that video, I basically showed you how you can trim your own hair. And in this video, I want to show you how to cut layers into your hair. Now this footage is actually from a couple of years ago, so I don't have short hair anymore. But if you have curly hair or wavy hair, or you just want more volume, this is the haircut for you. You can do this on wet or dry hair, but if you have curly or wavy hair, I highly recommend that it's wet because it'll help you make it more straight. So as you can see, I took a vertical section of my hair and it's quite thin. You can use a comb or a brush. I just used my hairbrush because it's actually easier to get a tension on it. And what you wanna do is get a tension on that section. And as you can see, my fingers are vertical. Now, when you are cutting the hair, you don't wanna touch the very bottom so it's gonna be like a guide you will see that when you pull out your hair like that the very bottom is gonna be the shortest and very top is gonna be the longest you don't want to touch the bottom you just want to cut the middle and the top to match the bottom Okay, and this is how I cut the front. So after you do your whole head, you do the layers, you can brush forward, sort of like your bangs, and this is how you get those nice face framing layers. I literally just cut a straight line. It's almost like cutting a very long, very long bang. But as you can see, what I'm doing is I'm leaning forward. So that hair falls like straight out of my head. I, I, the leaning forward is the key part there. You have to lean forward and do that. I'm just shaking it out. And that's basically it. Oh my gosh, I didn't record very detailed tutorial there, which is probably why I deleted this video. <laughs> anyway, as you can see, you can get really nice layers this way. And if you do uh, my first technique before you do this, you will get like this exact same haircut. Wow, I cut a lot of hair off. But you see, I'm only cutting the layers, so you won't actually be touching the length of your hair um, when you do this haircut. You're just gonna be cutting layers and giving movement. So this is the end result. As you can see, those are my kind of like curtain bangs or just face framing layers. This is exactly the haircut you will get if you do these two videos. And I will try to show you a little bit in more detail how to do this technique. So I'm gonna record some footage for it from today, but I'm not gonna cut my hair today, but I'm gonna show you what I mean by taking a vertical section and not touching the bottom. Okay, I'm gonna do that right now, jeez. Start by parting your hair in the middle, in the back. And then, a little comb will help with this, but I was taking a small vertical section. So vertical section means it's like that, you see? A horizontal section is like that, a vertical section is like that, okay? So I'm brushing it straight out. So this is called a 90 degree haircut. <laughs> oh my god, what is this position? You see how it's straight? I'm gonna show you now what I mean, which part you need to cut. So when you do this, you go to the end, right? You cut like that, boom straight line and that's going to give you the layers this is why i separated it in the back so that i can go from here towards the front so we go one layer and we cut that and we put it back and then we do another another section pull it out like that chop keep doing it like that chop you do the same thing on the other side and as I showed, you brush your bangs forward. Not too much of your hair. You can just tilt your head down like that. And whatever falls to the front, that's it. You don't need to go any more further back than that. Just tilt your head forward and brush forward whatever fell down. I would say you can just do like that. Just, you know, intuitively put back 
most of your hair. <laughs> but by intuitive, I mean like, you see it ends right about where my eyebrow ends. Same thing here. Okay, that's about as much hair as you want. And then you just tilt your head forward like that. You see, it's not like that, it's like this. So you tilt your head forward like that, brush it out, and you just cut a straight line. Yeah, don't cut it too short, I would say, but if you want curtain bangs, I guess you can go shorter. Like, longer than chin, I would say, so... If I was doing that to my hair, I would, you can even measure it. You know, you can say, oh, I'm gonna cut it right here, how would that look? And then you take that and you measure it, oh, it, it would go around here. So then you cut it. Okay, I hope that makes sense. <laughs> Curly or wavy hair? It is more forgiving than straight hair, so even if you kind of mess up, it's gonna be okay. But as long as you follow this technique, uh, it's very unlikely that you're gonna mess it up because it's so simple. I hope you learned something. I hope this gives you some confidence in cutting your own hair at home, especially if you want to grow it out. And thank you for watching. <laughs> oh, we'll be posting on Mondays, so I'll post a regular video tomorrow with Pete. Um, we're gonna try to get back to posting every Monday. Okay.